Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. This is the part 4 of our Samsung Galaxy Note 2 tips and tricks videos. Let us get started and show you some of the most useful tips of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. The home screen of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is quite feature rich and you can see there are many applications, there are widgets etc running on the home screen and there are multiple screens with which you can quickly switch by just pressing here on the dots and you can scroll like this. This is the normal mode but say you want a very simple and basic looking user interface what you do then then you go to apps go to settings and from the setting you get the device home screen modes you can turn it to the easy mode which is very simple and very easy looking and it looks almost like what you get in the older phones and you can ag again switch between them from here you can see there are larger applications so if you don't like a complex and feature filled home screen you can make it very easy for quick access to the important applications. If you have a high speed data connection on your phone and you want to use it on your laptop and other devices which you have maybe tablets or other Wi-Fi devices you can simply enable hotspot in Samsung Galaxy Note 2 or any other Android device by simply swiping down here going to the settings. From the settings in the wireless and network section go to more settings in more settings you see tethering and portable hotspot just click on it and enable the portable hotspot you can see all the settings by clicking here and you can configure all the device name and password etc for the hotspot if you are like me who gets hundreds of emails per day and every few minutes there is a notification of the email and you are sick and tired of it on the galaxy note what you can do is simply go to the application settings go to apps settings in the application manager you can simply go to the gmail application which i use as my primary email client and on the top you see a tick mark on the show notification just disable it and say ok after this you will not receive notifications for the email the emails will get synced to the phone from time to time but you will not get the notification for it Samsung Galaxy Note 2 supports the near field communication or NFC to enable or disable NFC you simply go to the apps settings under wireless and networks click on more settings and here you have NFC you just turn it on and you can use this for transferring data between Galaxy devices by using the S-Beam which is a part of NFC or you can use it with other NFC devices by configuring it. You can share your media files or media files on the other DLNA or UPnP devices by enabling the media sharing. To enable the media sharing just go to settings under the wireless and network go to more settings and here you have media share under this you have nearby devices just go to this and say file sharing after you go to file sharing while you are on Wi-Fi you can simply start using file sharing between other Wi-Fi devices which are in range you can unlock the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 by using the face unlock feature to set it up go to apps settings lock screen screen lock face unlock you have to look with your face inside the circle to set it up once you set up the face unlock you have to give a pattern or a pin to unlock it and next time when you unlock it it will look for your face and if your face matches it will just unlock the screen like this if you get too many notifications on your Android you can long press on the notification to check which application is sending this notification as you long press you will see an option which says app info and it will show you the application and if you are getting too many notifications from a particular application you can just uncheck this option which says show notifications and you will not receive the notifications from that application again. For security reasons or whatever reasons, say you want to hide certain applications, say you have many games on your phone but you don't want others to mess up with the games, you can show or hide applications 
once you have the apps view open simply go to the settings here and you can use the option which says hide applications under the hide applications you can select certain applications which you want to hide and once you tick on those applications you can press done these applications are now hidden so if a person uses your phone he will not be able to see those applications and to view the hidden applications again when you are in the apps view click on the menu button and you scroll down and you see a show hide hidden application button here just click on it and you will see all the hidden applications you can see the notifications even in the full screen mode while you are gaming just by swipe just like this with Samsung Galaxy Note 2 you can create some special alarms which are known as location alarm and smart alarms when you create a new alarm and you go to more settings you can set a location alarm say you want to set up an alarm when you visit the market you want to pick up certain grocery so you can enter the location say Walmart say I set up this location and when I reach that location an alarm will fire up this is the location alarm when you set up a smart alarm it will slowly start the alarm with a small amount of volume or the low intensity volume and the volume will slightly increase say you are in office and you want to set up an alarm then you can set up a smart alarm so you can hear it when it starts becoming loud and you can prevent it from starting very loudly you can customize not even the ringtones but also the vibration pattern for certain contacts say I enter a particular contact and I scroll down here and there is an option of setting vibration pattern which is here at the bottom from the default pattern I can turn it to any other basic call heartbeat jingle bell or even I can create a custom vibration pattern so I have created a vibration pattern which will vibrate in a certain way so even when the phone is inside my pocket I can listen to the vibration pattern when even if it is in mute mode and I can recognize what call it is because it vibrates in a certain way an interesting S voice feature is that you can simply launch music using the S voice application just double click the home button play music it will take you directly to the music application wherein while you say you are going to sleep you can configure it to turn it off automatically for that feature you can go to the settings and music auto off in which you can select an interval of say 30 minutes or 15 minutes whatever suits you while it is playing music it will automatically turn off the music after a pre-configured time interval there is one very useful feature in the accessibility features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 which is the text to speech for that you have to go to accessibility in accessibility there are few options the text to speech is here under vision here you can enable the driving mode this mode is very useful while you are driving or say you have kept the phone away when you keep it on incoming calls and other notifications will be read out to you so you don't need to reach out to your phone to while you are driving or say when uh, you are busy it will read out the notifications and you can attend to only the important ones when you hear them out if you feel that there is some lag in your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 the lag is not because of the hardware or the performance when you press the home key it takes a while for the animation to come in and take place this is because the double tapping of the home key is set to launch the s voice application if you want the phone to respond very immediately whenever you press the home button you can open the s voice once go to settings by pressing the menu button in the setting you can just disable this option which says open via home key after you disable this you will see the home button responds much more quickly now so this is the end of part 4 of the samsung galaxy note tips and tricks 
check out our previous parts as well in the links given below in the description thanks for watching this is rohit khurana signing off for more such videos do subscribe to our official youtube channel by clicking the subscribe button below